Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Uh, over here, I do Daz 3D videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Genesis 9 has arrived. Uh, for those people that pre-ordered, I will add the word eventually onto the end of it. Uh, but Genesis 9 has arrived, and what you can see on screen here is Vicky 9, uh, if you did but never realised. Uh, this video isn't about a review of Gen 9 or Vicky 9 or anything of the sort, uh, but I will say just my general initial thought is, at the moment, I don't mind. Uh, I've got an open mind, however, because I want to wait and wait and see what other people come out with in respect of models and such. But at the moment, I've, I've done a couple of images with Vicky Nine, and I don't mind. It's she, she, you know, it's come out pretty decent, uh, which I should be posting in the next few days. These images. Uh, but what I do want to talk about in this video is obviously one issue that some people have is compatibility issues. Uh, what you can see on screen at the moment is Vicky Nine, as I mentioned, and she is wearing Genesis Eight clothing uh and genesis 8 wig a hairpiece on top of her uh on the whole the compatibility between clothing is kind of okay uh there's a few issues where for instance this top that we've got on screen we did have a bit of a poke through around the the breast area somewhat uh, and on the whole pants and trousers don't seem to work with the options that we've got on the auto fit these ones did for some reason I don't know why, but others that I tried uh, haven't worked. But on the whole, compatibility-wise, it, it seems okay. Uh, one area where we're not okay, however, as you probably know, is if I come up to Gen 9 and just click on Vicky, Vicky 9 for now, one area where the compatibility isn't great and there is no compatibility is with Genesis 8 poses. Now, given you know we're just early early in the lifespan of genesis 9 and there's not much out there for pauses if you want to use set pauses from you know from a, a creator somewhere so wouldn't it be great if some bright spark somewhere had created a little script that would allow us to transfer genesis 8 pauses onto our genesis 9 models over here and somebody has well over on the daz forums the post from richard as tracy has made this post where Richard is offering a 4,575 line script to transfer poses across to G9. And it's perfectly free and available on this thread. And if we just scroll down slightly, we can see the zip file here. All you need to do is just give it a click and it will download to whatever your downloaded uh, folder is, download folder is on your system. And once there, which mine is over here in my DAS tutorial folder, you'll see this zip file, Richard and Tracy dash G84, G8 female pause transfer to G9, yada, yada, yada. And what we need to do, we need to find a way to unzip this. So I'll just give it a right click. I will open it in a new window. Uh, and then you'll get this file structure in here. If you've ever manually installed uh you know, assets on your on your system. You, you, this will all be recognizable. Go into clip into content, and you'll have this folder called scripts. And what you need to do is to transfer it into your content library, wherever that is on your system. Like I said, I'm using mine on this DAS tutorial folder, which is just it means I've got easy access to stuff. But wherever your content folder is on uh your system, this is where you have to you know throw the script into. So all you need to do is just take the scripts folder and drop it into your content folder. And as you can see, there it is. And if we open that up, there's a, another folder in there called Chestnut P. And if we open that up even further, we can see the script that we need there. And once you're back in DAS, what you need to do is to come across to your content library, which will be in your content library tab. Go to your, your folder extensions here, your hierarchy. Now, as I said, I've dropped mine in my own temporary DAS tutorial. So I've got easy access to stuff, but yours will be in my DAS 3D, something like similar to this one that, that's there, which lists all the folders and things that you've got in there. But in my DAS tutorial, what you need to do is to look for your script file. If you don't have one in your content library, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll just need to refresh the directory structure by clicking on the top level, right clicking, and then click refresh. And there you'll have the scripts file. It will become apparent. And if you open that up, and click on the chest P, there's the script that we've just downloaded and copied onto our system. Now, as we mentioned in the in the blurb from the forum, it allows us to transfer a pause from Genesis 8 
to a Genesis 9 figure. The key word there is transfer. As I mentioned, this is just a workaround for now. So for this to be able to work, you need a Genesis 8 model in your scene. We pause that model and then we use this script to transfer the pause across to the Genesis 9. And so, as if by magic, we now have a Genesis 8 model in our scene over here. So all we need now then is a pause. So if we come across uh, to my pause parts, we'll just come down in here and we'll just pick anything, any old thing will do here. Now, if we go to apply this pause here to the Genesis 9 Victoria 9 model that we've got, and we just give it a double click, we can see that nothing much happens uh, other than a drop and a head down. And this is because a lot of the the bone structure in our new Genesis 9 models is different to what it used to be. I mean, spine one now instead of abdomen lower and abdomen middle and, you know, all these things. They've all been changed uh, for reasons, according to Daz. Uh, so obviously that doesn't work. So if we just click our way back and instead apply that pause to our Genesis 8 model, which we've got, and just apply the pause there, what we can now do is come back to our script. We'll just shut that down, come across the scripts, chest and up, and our little script here. And what we're going to do now, we're going to use this script to transfer this pause onto our G9 model. And so when you double click on, click on the script, this little dialogue window opens up and you can see the first thing at the top, it says, select G9's hip. So using this little drop down, we come into uh, our little selector, uh, we come into G9, Victoria 9, and we select the hip as requested. And then below that, select G8's hip. So we do the same thing with our G8 model so that the script knows which is which. And once we've done that, we just hit accept. And hopefully the pause gets copied or transferred over from our G8 model onto our G9. Now it's not perfect. Apparently there's uh, fewer, fewer joints and bones within the face structure so sometimes some facial uh changes that you've made might not work but overall overall uh it's copied it over perfectly there you might have to make the odd little adjustment here or there because like i said it's not perfect it's just a workaround at the moment but that particular pose seems to have come across without much problem i don't really see any differences within them uh, and so if we now just come across and have a look back at our main camera we're left with a perfectly posed Victoria 9, Genesis 9 female by using Genesis 8 poses. There you go. That's it. Uh, great little script. Just a workaround for now. But if you're struggling for poses, head across to the Daz forums. You'll find the link down below to that particular thread. Download the little script file and then use Genesis 8 poses on your Genesis 9 models thanks for watching uh, if you've liked this video and felt you've got something out of it please give us a like and share it around down below really appreciate it if you do that if you haven't already please consider subscribing uh that'll really really help out my channel big time and finally if you've got any questions or any comments drop them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye now